Hey guys and welcome to this episode of the Happy Knitting Podcast. My name is Julia and I'm coming to you as always from the south of Germany, from Munich. Today is Saturday, it's the 29th of February 2020 and I'm just so glad that you're joining me today. If you're noticing that the quality of the sound today is different, it is because I just recorded the entire episode to realize that for some reason my microphone either isn't working anymore or it isn't playing well with my phone anymore, which I don't understand, but that means that I'm re-recording this without my regular microphone and we will just have to see how it goes. So I'm very curious to see how the audio quality changes and I will try to figure out what's going wrong today um, later. So that means that we're also kind of running out of light now, but I think we should be okay because it's going to be a very fast episode anyways. Um, just a heads up that I have a bit of a head cold, so if you can hear it, if I am somewhat sniffly, I'm sorry, there's just nothing I can do. I thought about not recording, but I am feeling much better, so I just thought I would put out a quick episode. So if you're watching for the very first time, welcome. Um, I really hope that you will enjoy this podcast, and if you are coming back, thank you so much for being a regular viewer of the podcast. I feel like I'm talking very fast today. I'm just so energetic. I had a big cup, cup of coffee today, which I haven't had that much coffee lately, so I'm feeling it. I'm feeling all the caffeine. I have switched to water since, though. All right, so um, before we get started, two quick notes um, to start. Um, so first of, all, first of all, what I am wearing today is the Ernest Cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. I feel like I'm wearing this on every second episode because I pretty much wear this cardigan every day. It is just so handy and goes with everything. So that's what I'm wearing today. And second of all, I don't do any show notes for this podcast, but... I have pretty good project pages on Ravelry. So right underneath, underneath this video, just like in the description box, I will always link to my project pages. And if you have any questions about patterns that I use, about yarn colorways and needles, all of that information is always um, just linked there and you should be able to find anything you need there. And it will be much quicker than asking me via message, comment, whatsoever. All right, so let's jump in. And technically, I don't have any finished objects, but then again, I do. Because they are not my finished objects, but they are finished and they're objects and they're knitted. So I think they count. So my lovely friend Marion, um, I think I've talked about her plenty of times. She's like my best knitting friend. Um, we met up this morning. I'll talk about that more later. And she surprised me with a gift because years ago she gave me some knitted like face cloths, washcloths, something like that for I think Christmas two years ago or three years ago. I don't know. And I use them all the time and I tell her all the time how much I love them. So she gifted me some more and I love these. So I think they're in the same yarn that I already have some in. I think that is, it, it is just a plain cotton yarn and I love these. So please don't ask me any detail about these because I really don't know. I just got them as a gift. But this one is a girder stitch one and the other two have some kind of knit pearl texture on them which is really really fun. And I just love these. So I've been meaning to show you the ones that I already own for a while. But they're basically in use all the time because I just use them as face cloths and I throw them in the washing machine and they just hold up forever and they're really soft and I love them. So I'm really happy to have some more additions to my washcloth um, stash, I guess, because these are the sort of things that I don't really knit, but I love having. So very, very happy with these. And thank you, Marion, for providing us with some podcast content. Um, in terms of what I've been working on, let's get some stuff out of the way. I've basically been working on three things. First up, I have made some progress on my crochet blanket. I talked about this at length two episodes ago. So if you're interested and you've missed that, just go back two episodes. It's the episode before we go on holiday. 
Um, this is the C2C Moss Stitch Pad Pattern, which is a free pattern. You can find it via Ravelry and it leads you to a website. And that website has both written instructions, which don't help me because I have no idea about crochet. But they also have a video tutorial, which I used. And I, like I said, I have no idea about crochet, but it was very easy to figure out. So I definitely would recommend that. And it's been so fun. A couple of people have since um, two episodes ago wrote to me and said that they also have started one of these now. So I'm really happy to have inspired some crochet, especially because I don't really talk much about crochet on here. And I think it is such a cool craft. I just don't really get it yet. But yeah, I've done a couple of stripes on my blanket. Um, the yarn that I'm using is Rainbow by Hobby which is a very affordable yarn brand. Um, I just got two sets of different colors and I'm just combining them for this blanket. And yeah, I feel like it's not going very fast. It may be the stitch. It may be the fact that I'm just not a fast crocheter. I don't really know. I'm using a three millimeter hook, which I guess isn't huge either. But it's going slower than I thought it would, but I am still enjoying it and I think it just looks really fun. So that's where I am with that. And I'm sorry about this annoying streak of light going through my screen. That has to do with the fact that now it's kind of too late to record and I decided to record anyways because I had all the setup and basically the whole episode done except for the sound. So, oh well. Next up, I have worked a tiny bit on these socks. Again, I won't go into too much detail because I went into a lot of detail about these last week. These are some socks for Kai. I finished the first one. They're just a three by one rib um, sock with a one by one ribbing at the top. They have a fish lips kiss heel. And so I finished the toe of the first one today and I have finished the ribbing for the second one while we were out today so i'm just making slow progress on this whenever i actually do put in the work big surprise you have to work on things in order to finish them and the yarn is volmeiser it's one of their nobody is perfect skeins which has two knots in it which is a little bit annoying but it does mean that i did get it for a reduced price which is always handy so those are my socks that I have been working on and now we will get to the most exciting work in progress, at least in my book, because you may remember I have so many whips, like I have no business ever casting anything on again. So as you may know, I have two sweaters that are pretty big projects and I haven't really been making any progress. And so I decided that maybe every week I should just focus on one of these big old languishing whips and try to make significant progress on it. And I'm very proud to announce that I made quite a bit of progress on this sweater. So what is the sweater? This is the Childhood Sweater by Anke Strick, who I am 99% sure is a German designer, but don't quote me on that. This pattern, I am using the English version as I always do with patterns. So she has a couple of really cool patterns and this one has a very interesting construction. It has a lot of short rows, you have to be warned. But it's really cool with this sort of like big crew neck or like, it's kind of like a big collar. And you can either wear it like that or of course you could fold it over. And I have tried it on and this is going to be a super warm sweater. So uh, in terms of modifications, very quickly, instead of knitting back and forth for the armholes, I added sticks. And since last showing it to you, I have actually opened up these sticks. So I've just cut open my knitting so I could try it on. And I think I was maybe like, I don't know, four inches um, below the armhole separation when I last showed it to you. And all of this I knit within the last a couple of days and I'm so happy about that. I just made so much progress, um, mainly in stockinette. And now I am actually on the bottom ribbing. And I think I may be ready to cast off. I just need to put this onto a bigger needle and try it on and see if I'm ready to bind off. But I am definitely close to the body being done, which makes me so happy. Because... 
then it's just a matter of picking up the sleeves, knitting round, 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 and it'll be done. And I'm just so, so happy for this to be off the needles. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the progress on this. Um, my other sweater that I still have on the needles is the yellow line of shapes sweater. And that one, I have done the sleeves. I just need to knit down the body. So again, I feel like both of this very, these very big projects are actually quite doable. Um, and I really do want to devote some of my time the next couple of weeks to just each week pick a project and make significant progress and get these things off the needles because like i said i have so many whips and sometimes i don't mind but now i just want these things to be finished so yeah i'm pretty pleased about this to be honest um the yarn that i'm using is a cone it is jameson and smith two ply jumper weight it is colorway fc6 and I tend to buy these on cones because they're just much more affordable in terms of this, the quantity that you get. So I got, got, I got this on a sale actually a while ago. I just love this sort of marled colorway. And these come in 500 gram quantities. So if you know me, you know that I usually tend to play yarn chicken. Like that's what I'm doing with my other sweater. I'm missing something like 400 yards of yarn and it's all going to go terribly wrong. But with these cones, I know I'm not going to run out of yarn, which is a nice change because, like I said, it doesn't happen to me very often that I have like big quantities of yarn. I'm always playing yarn chicken because I'm always thinking like that extra, extra skein of yarn costs X amount of money and I'm just not willing to spend it. And instead, I will play yarn chicken and go crazy and do all these things which are probably a lot more trouble than buying an extra skein. But that is just my personal brand of crazy. I really love this yarn. I have a couple of garments in it and it's just one of my favorite sort of non-superwash woolly yarns. It's 100% Shetland yarn and I love it. And it's going to be so much nicer after I wash and wear this too. So this is going to be a very, very warm sweater. And to be honest, I'm not sure if the color choice was the greatest. Like, it's going to be a very big pink, pink coral thing on me. It's not the most flattering sweater, but I do think it'll be very handy to have. And I should have mentioned that another modification that I have made, which is kind of in the pattern, is I'm not doing the high-low hem. So I think quite recently, Anke, who is the designer, Anke Strick, has made a second version of this in a tweed yarn, which kind of was the um, inspiration for me to start this. And she just omitted the high-low hem and instead did a straight hem. And it it's not really cropped, but it's also not super long and it just looked really nice. So I think I'm going for the same thing. I don't want this to be super cropped, but I do think that if I make this too long, like below my hips, it's just kind of going to swallow me up and maybe not be the most flattering. So I am copying her and not making mine overly long. So yeah, that is it about that sweater. I feel like I've rambled on about this for a very, very long time, but I'm just happy to have made some progress. All right, so that is it for what I have been working on. And I do have a bit of stash enhancement because this morning I spent a very lovely morning slash afternoon with my friend Marion and we met up for brunch, which was quite interesting because we went to a place that I haven't been to in years. And of course, the one time I decided to go back there, um, there was this huge building works going on in the city and it was a bit of a nightmare to get to and to get back and I was so lost but I did figure it out, we did make it, we had a lovely brunch and then we decided to stop by one of our favorite local yarn stores, um, which is this one, the Mercerie in Munich. And as for everything that I show you, of course, just know that I am not sponsored by anyone or anything. I just talk about the things that I like and dislike. So we went to the yarn store and I had no concrete plans to buy anything, but 
just to have a look and then something just jumped at me and it was yarn from Bl 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 Brooklyn Tweed. I can't talk today you guys. It's been too much coffee, too much talking and the second time recording this my ability to form words has somehow gone out of the window. Anyways, they do have Brooklyn Tweed and I will be quite honest, my biggest dream right now in terms of yarn would be a sweater quantity of either loft or shelter, like that is just my dream project in yarn right now and it has been for a while, like a big sweater quantity to maybe do some color work and it's wool and spun and it would be amazing. But right now, I mean, it's not cheap to start with and then importing it to Germany and all of that, it's just a very, very expensive yarn. So that is sadly not happening and it's just not in the budget right now, but it will happen one day. But they did have their Brooklyn Tweed Peary on sale. So this is 100% American Merino wool. And this is um, their worsted style yarn, so it's worsted spun rather than woolen spun. I think it may be superwash, but I don't know. And it came as a pretty good deal in these 50 gram skeins. So I just picked out this colorway, or at least maybe I should say it picked me because these three colors, they just jumped out at me and... After some debate, I decided to actually just take them home because clearly they were meant for me. So this one is called Arabesque, this one is called Klimt, and this one is called Palazzo. So yeah, I have a couple of ideas what I'm going to do with these. It's supposed to be a fingering weight, but it seems to be a pretty thick fingering weight for me and knowing that my gauge tends to be quite loose anyhow i think i'm going to look for sport to decay weight patterns but yeah i'm just really really happy with these like i said my first ever broken tweed yarn and <sighs> i'm just so into these colors right now they're lovely they're warm and they just had to go together like i thought about just getting this co um combination which would be a very gryffindor <laughs> colorway or I thought about this, but really they just had to go together, the three of them. And with 150 grams, I do have some options for like shawls or maybe like a hat and mitten kit or something. I have options to do quite a lot of things with these. So yeah, very, very happy about these. And yeah, with that, I'm pretty much done in terms of the knitting content. Um, besides that, as for life in general, nothing much has been happening. We've just been settling in after a holiday. So by the way, thank you to everyone who left lovely comments on last week's episode and the photos that I put in the end. That was really appreciated. But yeah, we've just been settling back in, um, getting used to the change from like 30 degrees Celsius weather to very cold weather. We had some snow last week. Actually, I think the first proper snow we had all winter, which is crazy because it's almost March. And now the snow is pretty much gone, except for a very, very sad leftover snowman that fell over in our garden and is looking very sad. But yeah, basically that's what's been going on. Um, yeah, um, and I think that is pretty much it in terms of podcast content. So, I think I will see you again next weekend. Um, I'm hoping that I'll start having more content in the future, but we will just have to play it by ear and see how it goes. Until I see you again, I hope you guys have a great weekend, have a great week. And again, thank you so much for watching this podcast. I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!